Life in Liberia, West Africa has been difficult for due to a 10 year long civil war as you have seen from these pictures. My husband and I knew little of this until we met Peter and Betty Wiato in 2006. Uh, Peter was a medical student at the school in Monrovia, which is the capital of Liberia. He was le shot and left for dead. His wife, Betty, uh, she uh, made her way to through the forest to the Ivory Coast refugee camp with her children. They both thought the other was dead, but they found each other again in three years and they reunited. Living in Dallas, Texas, they vowed to return to their homeland, uh, the Zoge region of Liberia, to build a hospital. I want to show you where uh, Zoge Medical Center is located. This is Liberia and you can see there in the smaller photo here uh, where it is on the Atlantic coast. Uh, Monrovia is here, that's the capital city, and then Zoge Medical Center is located right over here in Nimba County, about 50 miles from the Ivory Coast. They built their clinic in 2005. It was really an occasion for rejoicing. Um, the people walked for 50 miles uh, to get to this clinic or are carried uh, 50 miles and um, they were real people really have terrible problems with um, diarrhea due to the waterborne illnesses, uh, tuberculosis. They have many 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 problems and they are just very grateful for this clinic. Um, Peter hired a doctor and a couple of nurses. Uh, they were seeing about 100 patients a day. Um, they have um, uh, multiple problems. Um, this is here is the waiting room right here. And uh, this is a little girl who uh, was here with the asthma. Uh, at the time they had run out of the aerosol medication and so they had to give her the liquid uh, medication. And I remember having asthma as a child and taking that liquid medicine and just you'd lay there for hours waiting on it to work. So that really hit me personally. Um, this woman here has a pyelonephritis, which is a kidney infection, and you have the um, physician assistant there, um, uh, Joseph, is taking care of her, and one of the nursing assistants. Uh, and these here are the people that are waiting outside the clinic to be seen. Uh, they are there either for themselves or they're there with family members, and they uh, are. There's a lot of people who want to be seen at this clinic that Peter and Betty built. Today, Zoge Medical Center is one of the major health providers in the country of Liberia. Uh, on a daily basis almost, uh, the medical center is uh, performing significant surgical uh, operations and other uh, services to the people uh, from a very wide uh, ranging area. Uh, many people have uh, received treatment at the hospital who would and been saved who would otherwise have died. Dr. Kaluba is operating on a male patient here who had a hernia. They perform lots of hernia surgeries in this area. Uh, many people very miserable from large hernias that uh, can become life-threatening. This young boy had uh, operation uh, as well and uh, we understand this was also a hernia operation. Uh, a, a tragic thing for him to uh, have to endure a hernia at his age that uh, could be uh, repaired so readily with the proper uh, surgeon uh, training uh, and uh, facilities. This pregnant woman was carried by hammock uh, from an area 45 kilom kilometers away from Zoege Hospital. Uh, she was having complications with her uh, uh, delivery and was brought into the hospital uh, and delivered a healthy boy 12 minutes later. Nurse midwife Mediana Don prepares an injectable medication uh, as part of the hospital's maternity services. In here, the pharmacy technician is managing the medications that uh, are, are provided to patients, uh, treated as an outpatient. Uh, to uh, treat a variety of afflictions, uh, most significantly malaria uh, that is very common in this area and can cause a large number of deaths in children and other uh, people. So the presence of the hospital and the uh, uh, availability of trained staff who can diagnose and treat malaria is, an, is a critical part of the service Zoge provides. Zoge Clinic was a life-changing event for the people of Zoge District in Nimba County. But the goal always was a hospital. 
And so, after a fundraising effort here in the United States and the great generosity of donors, construction began on the hospital in 2007. Here's Peter Weato supervising the uh, collection of sand on site for the creation of the locally made bricks, which are very sturdy and, and perfectly suited for conditions in Africa. This is typical of African construction, and uh, these uh, structures last a long time. The uh, hospital uh, began on time, construction began uh, as, as expected and progressed uh, very well. Uh, we then visited again in 2009 and were able to uh, uh, enjoy seeing the completed uh, building and uh, participate with the people in a celebration of the completion of construction of the hospital. The people of the Zogay district rallied behind this project and clinical staff uh, uh, appeared and uh, volunteered to come and work at the hospital for very low wages compared to what we would think about here in the United States. Uh, we see here uh, Joseph, who is a uh, physician assistant, Benetta, the head registered nurse, and Dr. Magona, uh, one of the physicians there at the hospital. The traditional birth assistants are a critical component of the health delivery system in Liberia and in Africa in general. Uh, they are trained by nurse midwives and deliver maternity care in the community. And in fact, uh, in a very large uh, region uh, surrounding the hospital. The hospital has become the core of medical delivery uh, in that area and uh, trains and supervises not only uh, these uh, traditional birth assistants but also reaches out to the people in surrounding areas through its network of motorcycles and uh, temporary clinics that it establishes uh, in uh, surrounding communities. The goal also is for there to be uh, uh, permanent clinics uh, uh, that are supervised by Zogay uh, Medical Center. The uh, staff were very excited at the uh, opening of the hospital and undertook training to uh, be professional and deliver competent care. Uh, here we have nurses' assistants uh, undergoing a training session uh, in the hospital. Nursing assistants uh, also are drawn from the community, uh, work for very little, often volunteering their time. The housekeeping staff here ready to start work in their new uniforms. Dr. Magona, proud of his new microscope that uh, we were able to deliver uh, to the hospital. Sirleaf Johnson, the 2011 recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize, has taken a personal interest in this project. Here she's meeting with Peter Weato, and she has been a great supporter visiting the site and uh, encouraging uh, the uh, people there working on this project and uh, helping to provide funding through the government. The people in the uh, uh, area of Zogay have not only uh, been engaged in the construction of the hospital, but also in the improvement of roads, uh, building uh, various infrastructures uh, that are necessary uh, to support a hospital like this in a very distant, remote region. The hospital still runs on uh, petroleum brought in uh, by a truck uh, and uh, with local generators. There's no electric power out to this area, yet the hospital serves uh, uh, an area of about 750,000 people. The three pillars of uh, progress needed in Liberia are education, uh, transportation, and health care. So this project uh, is one of the major three uh, initiatives in, in Liberia. We're proud to be able to help this uh, happen and uh, uh, happy to be part of it. So the people of Zogay really do have reason to rejoice. Uh, the villagers there are so happy to have the medical care that's provided security and hope for them, to have a place to go when their child is sick or, or whatever their uh, situation may be. Um, we are 
looking forward to uh, Liberia having a brighter future and um, the hope that it that is there for this country. The people really are working and trying very hard to succeed and this president is particularly trying and, and working hard within the entire international community to help them. Um, we do need help though. The hospital needs supplies, it needs drugs, it needs uh, fuel uh, to run the propane tanks. There are so many needs for a hospital particularly in this rural environment, and we do ask for your help and we hope that you could help us in some way.